Maricopa County will spend nearly $3 million replacing all the voting equipment turned over in the latest audit. State and county officials say those machines cannot be reused. Political editor Dennis Welch shows us why this will likely wind up in court. And there is the very real possibility of a legal battle over who ends up paying for all of this. But as of right now, it is the Maricopa County taxpayer who will be picking up the tab. It's casting the ballot. This was a demonstration we got last year for one of the 385 precinct tabulation machines that will now be scrapped along with nine of these high speed vote counters. Aye. All four Republicans and the lone Democrat on the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors voted to replace the election equipment, leaving taxpayers on the hook for $2.83 million. I think it is fundamentally unfair for the taxpayers of Maricopa County to re be responsible for footing this bill. Supervisor Bill Gates, a Republican, and Steve Gallardo, a Democrat, blamed Karen Fan, the president of the GOP-led Senate, for the hit to the taxpayer. Fan subpoenaed the voting machines along with Maricopa County's 2.1 million ballots in order to conduct an unprecedented audit of the 2020 election, which continues on the state fairgrounds. Before we turned over this election's equipment, President Karen Fan signed an agreement that said that if the taxpayers of Maricopa County incurred costs as a result of what's going on at the Coliseum, the Senate would cover those costs. Fan did not immediately respond to our request for comment. Supervisor Gallardo said he supports taking legal action to recover the taxpayer money. Definitely. I am very supportive of taking legal action if it comes to that. Uh, I would hope that Senator uh, Karen Fan lives up to her word. As for the latest on the audit, the House Oversight Committee in Congress is now getting involved. They just sent this 13-page letter to the top contractor in this effort, the Cyber Ninjas, asking them for all sorts of information and documents. In the newsroom, Dennis Welch, Arizona's Family.